Use this stock play to shred every defense in the game. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about uh, a particular play. It's it's basically a uh, flanker dig. Uh, very, very popular play. Uh, you can find this in the West Coast, spread, run and shoot, Eagles, Chargers, Chiefs, Colts, Browns. What's great about this figure play is that it is a quick snack play. You can run it stock. You don't really have to make any kind of adjustments at all. Um, of the uh, of these eight plays, run and shoot is just a little bit of, of different setup. But what I love about this figure play is that you it exposes the seams. You've got a dig route. You've got um, a C route. You've also got a really glitchy running back route that gets out to the flat uh, with a lot of these formations. So we're going to be in the uh, the Eagles gun a tray open offset uh, and I'm going to show you how I use one I use this as one of my primary plays out of this tray open offset uh, as my passing plays because of the way I can essentially attack my opponent with it. So once again we're going to take a look at the flanker dig. But what's cool about this good play is that it works very well against uh, man blitzes. You do have to understand your first fast read, if you've got a guy that uses a lot of heavy pressure against you, is going to be that underneath route, or actually the route by Aguilar, who's a slot receiver. And I, a lot of times what's going to happen is he's going to get the back to his defender, and you can pick up an easy five, six yards with that. Uh, and what's usually cool about um, man blitzes is that they don't press the slot receiver, so you can usually get that ball off pretty deliberately. Now another compliment to that other side is this running back route that's always going to get really good separation. So you can go ahead and make sure that you can take away the user's uh, a tendency to go and take away some fast, uh, you know, pressure or basically user both both areas of the field. There's no way he could take away that hitch route off to the right and the running back route off to the left. Uh, it's just it's just not possible. So it's going to give you an opportunity to get rid of the ball. So good pressure right there in my face. Um, to take that away but you can see watch how he actually gets separation and he's actually slow running back he's 85 speed sprawls uh, but you can see he gets a separation now another adjustment I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and whip up that that uh, that hitch route uh, of Aguilar and that gives me another read too he should get really good separation so that's another thing that you could do against your opponent to go ahead and force him to play sidelines and if he is uh, basically trying to take away uh, that whip route, you've also got this deep dig that you actually can pick up some pretty good yards with it. So this really destroys man coverages. You've got basically, uh, you're attacking different sides of the field with it. And I'm not even taking a look at the C route of the backhand side. Now, against cover two, um, one of the things that's, that's going to get exposed against cover, or one of the things you're going to expose against cover two is going to be the seam route by the tight end. He's going to get open for, for big completion down the middle of the field. So you can see right here, basically the mid read doesn't take that away, and that's going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and tack him right down the middle of the field. And also on the back end side, uh, you've pretty much got a high low on the back end side with that running back route and that C route. So we're going to watch the C route, see if it opens up, and that's going to give you an opportunity for a huge completion off the back uh, on, the, on the left hand side. Now against cover three, um, it, this pretty much opens up a lot of things. Uh, you can still leave Aguilar and the hitch or you can whip him up. It really depends on what the type of coverage he's using. We're just going to leave it stock right now. One of the first reads and one of the things I discovered really quick uh, against cover three is that you're going to get a seam uh, with the tight end that you can attack uh, with this if the defender does not carry uh, with them. So you can go ahead and, and pop that. Now that, that's, uh, I'm forcing it in there for this video, uh, but that seam will be open uh, depending if there's a buzz or not. So if you can see right here, here's the buzz. We're gonna go ahead and pop that, get a nice big completion right down in the middle of the field and sometimes more. My opponents give me a cover three look. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whip up Aguilar I'm going to slide my wide receiver uh, split end up, up close to the uh, the offensive line. And one of the reasons why this is it gives me more real estate to pass the ball. Now my first area is going to be the t uh, is going to be tight end. But I've also got this route that I, I threw a little bit late that you can throw into if there's no pressure with a cover three. You know that with cover three, 
those um, those outside corners are playing deep zones. So the dig route is going to be, it, there's going to be some separation and you can almost squeeze that ball in there. High, it's not a very high percentage pass. So I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that. But one of the things is what's cool, cool with cover three is that you've got this high low uh, off the left hand side that you can attack your opponent with. So you can see right here the flat is wide open with the running back and if I'm forcing my opponent to play flats it's going to open up. So we're going to slide Jeffy over. And as you can see now I've got a huge play opportunity up high. Now a, a lot of a lot of good Madden players when they use cover four they use cover four drop and one of the reasons why is defensively it's more consistent than the palms. Uh, palms is good to sprinkle in, uh, but using it as a primary defense, I think, is is not a good choice because there's a lot of matching and mixing and switch offs. Which um, a good Madden player that knows how to play against palms, uh, cover four palms, is going to be able to expose it. So uh, once again, we're going to go ahead and slide our our wide receiver in, and you got basically a high low. Uh, but what's cool about it is you got this high opportunity to go and attack it. So if he plays cover four drop, uh, basically you're going to be able to go ahead and attack him uh, with this this uh, the C route. This is what's going to open up. Uh, and if he goes, if he plays over the top, you've got the underneath. So uh, basically that those those two routes on the back end side are going to be pl uh, completely in in play. So off on the right you've got the hitch route and you have the streak the streak is going to be taken away but you can always check it down to this hitch because defenders are going to float up so if he runs cover four drop those defenders are going to float up and if he plays hard flats that's going to give you that deep um, deep dig route with Jackson is going to be wide open so uh, I'm not uh, pressing these guys but you can see watch how they float up I'll go ahead and pop that that hitch route and pick up seven or eight yards that's not a problem at all I'll take it all day so guys this is a this is a play that I've used um, a lot um, online you're gonna see me in gameplay uh, utilizing the Eagles uh, and actually going ahead and, and using this play as one of our primary plays. Uh, but I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive tips. Um, on my Patreon channel, I'm actually going to throw a show a full scheme, the Y corner, the play action, uh, play action read, and a couple of the base plays that I call out of this scheme. Uh, but uh, this is a scheme that had really good success with moving the ball down the field, getting down to the red zone, and then switching into my red zone offenses. So once again, I'm a subscriber. Thank you for your support. If you like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button, and I'll be rolling out more offensive defensive schemes to take your game to the next level. So once again, thanks. Until next time.